our next item is 23-110. It's public comment. Just want to remind you all that our public comment here is three minutes. Thank you. Ms. Phil. Okay, first off, the last school board meeting I was supposed to be here. I apologize. I was at urgent care with bronchitis, so that's why I didn't make it then. Um, but I uh, am here again because of closing Cliff the Middle School. I know that you all made it to where this you know, what I'm saying is not going to matter. However, I feel it's important that my voice be heard um, and others that are here with me. We, and I know you all have asked, where were we when all the meetings were happening while well, we were teaching? It was at three o'clock during the day. We had a meeting at the middle school, yes, and teachers, we did request a, a meeting for some information, but we were told we could not ask questions. We were only spoke to. So um, I have been doing lots of research, lots of reading, everything that's out there. I have inches upon inches. Um, so a couple things that I want to point out. Um, I know that there is a possibility of a delay in the opening of the schools next year because of getting things ready. Um, it takes about, you know, that is a possibility. I know that is a possibility. Um, but it only takes about 1.5 seconds to hand a key. That's all you need to come to the middle school. They could come tomorrow and our doors would be willing and open and we can come in as a joint family. Um, in your architects, the RRM in study, you know, Covington High School is about 89,000 feet, has square feet. Clifton Middle School has 119,000 square feet and um, Covington is on 7.6 acres and the middle school is on 27. And as of right now, the, they recommend you have at least a minimum of 10. So we definitely match that, actually beat that. Um, not sure how the bus loop is gonna be handled at Covington. I know that your architect said that uh, either utilize the front lawn or maybe close down the street. So that's something that I think needs to be told. Um, more than, well, 16 out of the 32 classrooms at Covington High School fall short below the adequate space according to the Department of Education. Only 21% at Clifton Middle School, and I'm not sure which ones. I'd be anxious to go back and read that a little bit more. We have no asbestos. There's asbestos in Covington High School. Um, I know that they recommended almost, well, a little, well about $4.4 .4 million of things to be done to Covington High School. And um, for the Mountain View and Clifton Middle School together combined, it is um, $892,000. So cost effectively, I'm not sure. And I know that you, we were talking about how the um, poll and the public and everything, according to your study, um, that was, I believe this is what was handed to the Department of Ed, only 38% said that they would approve it if Allegheny and Covington High School buildings were both used. So I'm not sure where the public matter came in because only 38% really cared about that. More of them said they are concerned about additional educational opportunities. So um, I'm not seeing that. I'm not even seeing, can you just tell me, where can I find the results for the teacher poll? I, I don't know that there was a teacher poll. I know there was a, 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 a community-wide poll, but wrapped up. So you can't even just tell me where I can look for that? Do you, do you last you came, you said you were going to send us a group of questions. And to I'll, Mr. Uh, Eric and myself, if you want to ask some questions, we're more than happy to answer, but we don't do it back and forth. Okay. 